Hey everybody, Mike Jeffers, Chicago Jazz Magazine, chicagojazz.com. Recently, the city of Chicago announced a new initiative for 2020 called the Year of Chicago Music. Now, I talked with the commissioner, Mark Kelly, at the Chicago Jazz Fest, but I couldn't release the video until now because two weeks ago they just announced the initiative. There's a lot of planning involved. Mark Kelly talks all about the planning about the concept, about all of the different initiatives that are going to be happening and how he's going to include all genres of music in this 2020 initiative that hopefully will push the Chicago music scene onto a world stage for many years to come. So here's that interview I did with Commissioner Mark Kelly at the 2019 Chicago Jazz Fest. But let's talk a little bit about 2020 because, you know, we're, we're, drop, we're recording this at Jazz Fest, we're dropping this in October, and uh, you guys are starting to announce out this plan for the year of Chicago music in 2020 that's going to come to fruition. Uh, didn't you guys, isn't the, uh, you guys picked a year like this, wasn't this the year of Chicago theater or something right. this year, right? right. So I, is this going to be something? As Commissioner, I like, I like how, how, do, how do you... How do you bring laser focus to work when right. you don't have enough resources? Um, we, we, it's amazing what we do at DK's with 65 people. It's yeah. like insane. Oh yeah, no, it, it but is. But like how? But I've realized more and more my my responsibility is is less about just being a special events producer at the highest order, which we are, but rather the convener of creative sectors and helping them find a way to become stronger because that's that's the game building yep. new audience so so we have the year of public art um, and and we the momentum we have now in public art in the city and much of that came from that year it led into the year of creative youth so in two weeks we'll have Yaz Fest here yeah. so and we now continue to convene creative youth organizations and we are working harder to bring our youth into all of our festivals. This is the year of Chicago theater, the, the, the boldest of all of them. We're literally taking the 250 theaters that call them creative cats and turning them into a herd. So the first ever, there's never, as great as Chicago theater is in Chicago, there's never been a brand that was pushed out to the world. Right. And if you don't have a, if you don't have a storyline, if you don't have that, then it, in the world you don't exist. Right, you're, you're just know, gone, yeah. Um, and now there is, and choose, grab that brand, and it's now, we, we, we are claiming, and this is not boosterism, it's it's not, it's, it's simply a fact, we are equal in weight and breadth to London and New York as a theater community, but we're a different one. We're not commercially based, we're, we're ensemble based, we're, storefront base but all of that all along I knew I was staging for the big kahuna yeah which is the year of Chicago music Chicago one of the greatest music legacies on the globe it's Mahalia Jackson and Muddy Waters and Bo Diddley and Curtis Mayfield and Gene Amons and you know Arden Summers called you the Bob you just you could just go on Yet, strangely, or maybe it's not so strange, we, it's actually the segregation and racism of the city, because the majority of this, the power of Chicago music came from black music in the south and west yep. side. And the city is, even though we had these festivals, it's certainly about that, but the city has never celebrated and owned it like some other cities have. But we have an incredible music scene we're not one type of music, we're, every, we're, we're, we're across genre. And so the year of Chicago music, first ever Chicago music brand, establish us clearly as a music capital, convene all the creative cats, assemble resources, um, and build a, a more sustainable, the same thing we're planning to do for jazz yeah. across the board. And we've assembled, uh, we have a steering committee of some 40 leading music leaders we we have 12 working groups you know like we're, we're on it on legacy we're on it on building capacity on the south and west side we're on it on um just you, you it's name a huge it huge project because you're talking about like the theater you know you're a chicago theater 250 individual theaters bringing them all this is even way because oh, yeah, music I mean, is way uh and but it, it's, it's also maybe it's going to be a little easier because everyone gets it and right everyone true. loves music and everyone even though we haven't owned it we're still the, the city of incredible music vitality and and 
you know, it's it's classical and it's jazz and it's hip hop and it's experimental and it's blues and it's soul and it's R and B and it's electronica. You know, you don't even. It's yeah. it, and, 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 and as you say, every one of those uh, genres, Chicago was like like the scene in every one of them is incredible so it's it's gathering them gathering finding more mashups finding more um just it's a, it's an opportunity for all of us to like uh it's it's a one-time opportunity to grab the brass ring if you will yeah yeah because i we're not gonna have another year of struggle <laughs> music until probably um someone else definitely would be in this position <laughs> that's an understatement what what like what so what's the I, I understand bringing it all together and creating these things and putting putting the branding out there. But like, what's the ultimate goal? I mean, to to create some sort of a branding opportunity so that we can get it out to the world as the music well, scene I, in general. I, I think ultimately what we want to do is uh, clearly establish Chicago as one of the great musical capitals of the world, and with that. <laughs> Our clubs and our venues are strengthened. The music scene is strengthened. The encouragement of young musicians coming up and sustaining them in Chicago is 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 um, is increased. So think about this: we, we Chicago has more great summer music festivals compared to any other city on the globe, right? Yep. I mean, when you had Pitchfork yep. and. Oh, yeah. Lollapalooza and Riot Fest, and you know, it just they just it just, and then all of our festivals, you, you get dizzy with all of it. Right. But th th let's talk about Lollapalooza, and I'm not going to blame them for this. I'm I'm going to blame us. They come like a spaceship into the city. Yep. And they land, and they ignore Chicago music and its music legacy completely. Yep. Um, but I'm sure we've never said, hey. Don't would you could you imagine a festival of that weight landing in New Orleans and even and not thinking? Um, but that's true of all of our festivals. We let them. We we somehow the, the, you know we're we're so boastful and then yet we're such we're we're, we're like where are we? Um, uh, uh, you, youth and music. I I, I every youth in this city is a musician of sorts yep. right especially now with these gadgets oh, and yeah. synthesizers yeah. you know a sixty dollar synthesizer right. you know you can do your beats and um how do how do we create this, this love of youth and music not to develop them as professional artists some will but just the joy of it but then the ecosystem that develops with it and you know the, yep. um, so the, these are the kind of things that I you know and will we do it perfectly no do we have enough resources no but boy when you announce things like this it, it allows you to navigate resources to find friends like a lot of people like oh you're okay uh, <laughs> so literally uh, one of our uh, we have a fundraising goal to raise two million dollars to help wow sustain this and and we're making it up, but we've been making it up all along. It's 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 driven by clarity of idea, I think, and, and vision, uh, and then believing that we, we can find um, the partners. Here of Chicago Theater, we raised over one point three million dollars in um, resources, all going to theater. Um, yeah. Well, I, I think you're right because if you have a clear, specific goal in mind then you can bring in corporate sponsors to fund some certain things and put all that together you brought up an interesting thing about the youth and that's going to probably be something that might even coordinate with all of these independent organizations like Ravinia like Orbert Davis's Chicago Jazz Philharmonic and all that stuff too right Merit I mean, and Merit, yep. Music School the list goes on and on you know uh, Rhymefest his that sure but yeah we like how, how do we how do we take that a little uh deeper and at the same time know that we're not trying to develop tens of thousands of professional musicians right. some will and good but the joy look at what what's what right. you know my you know i'm uh, my favorite moments are when i can the, the rare and it, it doesn't happen very often but when i get on my trap set yeah and i'm 
like, relaxing finally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like this is going to be almost like a kickoff 2020 year of Chicago music, and it's a starting point for something to push right. into the future, the right? Year, what the goal would be, the year creates momentum that continues to push forward. If we're going to be a music capital that right. lives if we're going to build new connections and thinking and, and you know, it, our, just our kickoff, uh, our, our internal kickoff meeting for the year of Chicago Music, we had about 225 people across the music expanse of the city. And so many people came up to me and said, I have never in my life seen such a collection of people coming together and and everyone's smiling and there's good karma and good energy going forward it hasn't happened well that's like what you're doing with the blues fest with the jazz fest with all these other festivals too i mean there's all these organizations that are doing great stuff you're bringing them together so, so that's the kind of thing right react. Here's the other big, so the Jazz Fest 10 days next year and, right. and the year of Chicago music, right? And yeah. boom, like in the boom. Um, we're gonna take House Music Fest, Gospel Music Fest, and Blues, that's three consecutive weekends here in Millennium Park. And we're gonna turn it into a 17 day city festival. That's a great idea. And you know, right now the plug, I don't know what the eventual name will be. Right now I'm just calling it Sweet Home Chicago. But I, I don't care if one more person comes into Millennium Park, mm -hmm. but if I become the umbrella for the music life of the city in all genres. So we, we're centered on in our music legacy and then the clubs, the venues, everybody go at it you're in the festival and then we're going to broadcast out to the world yeah um yeah that's incredible well all right so this is all going to kick off in 2020 i know i'm going to be involved in some of these things as much as i can be involved uh, and, and everybody you know yeah, Mike, the city. Mike, I, i'm deputizing everyone you're going to be <laughs> every, it's, it's, so I, I everyone like everyone has to own it make it happen so think of the opportunity exists for you and your publication oh you're, absolutely you're Everything I talked about, you're already doing, but then it gives a new level of a platform and connections. 100%. Yeah. 100%. And it also is going to give a lot of direction for everyone to get together yep. and push everything together. Yep. All right. Well, this is going to be ex I'm excited now. That's it. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks so much, Commissioner. And folks, stick around. I know that uh, they're going to have more information coming up on the websites, and DK is going to announce everything as things keep rolling out. This is going to be an exciting year, 2020. Thanks so much for sitting down I'm, with I'm us. I'm sure our Mayor Lori Lightfoot, who is a big fan of music, is going to be joining us as we just yeah we push it forward. Push it forward. I, lo I love the energy. This is incredible. So stick around, and thanks for watching. And uh, we'll have more interviews coming up here from the Chicago Jazz Fest.